everyone gets scared, and everyone falls. The key is to get right back up and try again. Face each day with the expectation of achieving good, rather than the dread of falling short. It's important to have a plan, a big picture. You can deviate from it or change it completely, but it gives you something to work for. Gymnastics is a lot like life. You don't become an elite gymnast by bickering and having a negative attitude. You have to be positive to get to that level. I thought about running a marathon a long time ago, but I'm just not a runner. So if you think being thin is enough to succeed in gymnastics, you're wrong. Go into the sport because you have fun doing it, not because of what ifs and dreams of gold medals. That way, no matter what happens, you win. Gymnastics is the type of sport where you can't take something that gives you more energy. Something may be great for the vault, but then you have the bars after it and you have to be more sedate for that. I don't believe that there's anyone in the world without a competitive bone in their body. I think it's really important to look at the big picture instead of just one competition. There are parents, siblings, teachers and friends, but counting on them to motivate you isn't fair. They've all got their own lives, and while they may be able to help you out, if you can motivate yourself, then you're golden. In gymnastics, the longest routine you do is a minute and a half, and that's pretty tough to get through. When you grow up on camera and in the public eye, you feel you have to put forth this image. I just took that to the extreme and there was a lot of pressure on me. At the Olympics, you there to do a job. I feel you should take it seriously. You should be respectful. You are putting on the red, white and blue and going out there to perform for your country. If you want to take it up a step and aim to become a competitive gymnast, you have to be mentally strong and prepared to take on the workload of going to the gym every day, rain or shine. We typically don't choose our athletes until about a month prior to the games because anything can happen. I'm an athlete rep, so I'll be available if they need me for anything. At an Olympics game, you want to enjoy it, especially if you know it's going to be your last one. In gymnastics, you have to be perfect every step along the way. And we realized that it was kind of a starting point for gymnastics, to go professional, and also to just get a lot more of the audiences in the arenas on the off years, in the years that we're not in the Olympics. I don't think I have the mileage on me to really complain of any injuries yet. If you can't handle all the injuries and scars, choose a less demanding sport. The rate of childhood obesity is just ridiculous. Anytime I can get involved with teaching them how to get physical exercise, I want to help in any way possible. I'm a competitor. I really enjoyed the race more than just going out and running to run. When I go in to compete, whether it's gymnastics or anything else, I do my own thing. I compete with myself. Gymnastics uses every single part of your body, every little tiny muscle that you never even knew. There is always going to be a reason why you can't do something. Your job is to constantly look for the reasons why you can achieve your dreams. Shannon Lee Miller born March 10, 1977 in Rolla, Missouri, but she and her family moved to Edmond, Oklahoma, when she was six months old.
She began gymnastics when she was five and traveled to Moscow with her mother at the age of nine to participate in a gymnastics camp. As a teenager, Miller attended Edmund North High School, working with a flexible program that accommodated her training, travel and competition schedule. Miller's mother was a bank vice president, and her father was a professor at the University of Central Oklahoma. Miller is an American former artistic gymnast. She was the 1993 and 1994 World All-Around Champion, the 1996 Olympic Balance Beam Champion, the 1995 Pan American Games All-Around Champion, and a member of the gold medal winning Magnificent Seven team at the 1996 Olympics. Along with Simone Biles, Miller is the most decorated U.S. gymnast in Olympics history, with a total of seven medals. With a combined total of 16 World Championships and Olympic medals between 1991 and 1996, she is the second most decorated American gymnast, male or female, after Biles. She was also the most successful American athlete at the 1992 Olympics, winning five medals.